The strategy of the proletarian revolution calls for the quiet conversion of our government into a communist regime, but under the banner of socialism. Well, what is socialism? All right, let's define it. According to the dictionary, socialism is a political concept based upon the principle of government ownership and control of property, the means of production, and the avenues of commerce. Under socialism, those who run the government, and the communists are confident that in America they eventually will be the ones who do so, those who run the government will know who is to get something and who has to wait, and that represents control over human beings. What has all this to do with the communist revolution in America? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has everything to do with it because the building of socialism is the communist revolution in America. It represents the process whereby our country can be moved gradually toward communism without the people even being aware of it. No matter what grievance we may have, real or imagined, no matter what national problems we may face, the communists seize upon these as excuses to build socialism. They have one and only one solution for all problems. More government, more government, and then more and more until it's total government. And forgive me for saying it one more time, total government is communism.